loves me. He loves me not. I think the, the right thing to do would be just step down at this point, man. But I don't even think he will, dude. Well, we will see him at the next elimination. <sighs> yeah, if he makes it. I don't know. I, dude, I, I don't know if he's going to make it to the next elimination, to be completely honest, man. Bottom line, you don't come to Daisy's house with a girlfriend trying to compete for their love. You better just be on your way. And don't you dare lie to that girl, man, because <sighs> you about to piss me off, man. Dude, there's a lot of dudes in here that busting his... Oh, oh man, he, he, I don't know how long he's gonna be. He able couldn't to take even this. sleep, man. I wake up this morning, I'm feeling a little upset. I barely got any sleep. There was a lot of stuff still in my mind since the elimination of the night before. Daisy, on the kindness of her heart, gave me a second chance. And I'm thinking, do I necessarily deserve it? Yo, yeah. Brooklyn. So you backed up your shit up. last night like you were finna leave. Yeah, to be telling, man. Time will tell. Brooklyn's still here. Um, I think we're all kind of pissed because we all kind of had like a soft spot for Weasel. You know, he was like the fun guy, you know. Jack Daniels! Oh, oh shit! Bitch. You guys are starting without me? Can I get some whiskey Soup. up in this bitch? I think we're all keeping our eye on Brooklyn right now. You know, we're waiting one slip up and, uh, you know, he's gonna be done. Oh, um, man. Very happy to be here, as you can tell. Lucy, <laughs> I'm home. I think all the guys in the house, basically, they just lose their respect for, for Brooklyn. People are still pissed. A lot of people are kind of avoiding Brooklyn, and Brooklyn's kind of keeping his distance. Piss me off, dude. Oh, -ho. yeah. yeah. Got, looks like we got a little challenge. Baby, come on, <laughs> sweet cheeks. <laughs> Dear Diary. I'm a delicate girl and need my rock star to be able to protect me from this crazy world. I hope one of these guys will be able to do whatever it takes to make sure I'm well taken care of. Hugs and kisses, Daisy. Yeah! Woo. Yeah! Counseling? That'll be fun, man. I counseled you, Daisy. <laughs> so last night's elimination, Daisy keeps Brooklyn. I don't know why. He lied to everyone at the whole elimination by saying that he was here for her because he's not because why would you call your ex-girlfriend if you're here for her i know ricky sees through it i don't know why daisy won't listen to ricky what's going on guys let's see so we get out the limo and it's this big field with like masks and suits and hi guys hey. All right, fellas, today it's all about protecting Miss Daisy. I brought my lovely three mannequins with me. I know they're not as hot as me, but they'll do. So... You are going to be divided into three teams of four. Each one of you has a very important job. One of you is going to be responsible for getting Daisy from the limo to the velvet rope. One of you will be responsible for taking her from the velvet rope to the stage door. The other guys will take her back from the stage to the velvet rope to the limo unharmed. The team who brings back Daisy with the least amount of damage will get a date with Daisy. Along the way, there might be some psychopaths that might be after Daisy. Uh, guys? We meet the guys that are going to be shooting us, and they come walking out like a freaking episode of Star Wars. These five guys are sharpshooters. They never miss their mark. <laughs> oh, it's not good. So we got to protect Daisy from these professional killers. I am shaking in my pants. So the team captains are going to be Toolbox, <laughs> Sinister, 
and cage. It's a protection challenge. I got this one in the bag for sure. This is my date. I'm winning this. I'm going all out. Daisy, I'm going to protect you. you. Cool box, you can go ahead and pick first. Flex. No. <laughs> Sinister, you can go ahead and pick. I'm picking Chi Chi. Yeah. Cage, you can go ahead and pick next. I'm going to go ahead and go with six gauge right here. Be great. The only thing I am thinking about these teams is, please, I just don't want to be on Sinister's team. He's so tiny. I mean, you're going to shoot the old mannequin out from his hands before he even gets to the first part of the challenge. I'm going to pick somebody who I know can take the pain. I'm picking 12-pack. Yeah! <laughs> Woo! Come on! Obviously, I'm not the biggest guy, so I'm going to do anything that I can to win. Going with the cable guy. Go with Fox. I'm picking London. Yeah. Cage, go ahead. You have the final pick. <laughs> Is there anybody here? Uh. Oh, geez. What's going on? Cage, that obviously leaves you with Brooklyn, so. <laughs> Brooklyn, man. Come on now. <laughs> Awkward. So Cage ends up being stuck with Brooklyn on his team. Sorry, dude. He's already Cage. He's already Brooklyn. Bottom line is, uh, you know, I wouldn't pick myself neither, you know? All right, guys, we're going to get suited up and we'll get ah. started. My arm strap. My boys look amazing in their hot little outfits. Some of them look like they're from prison, but hey, that's kind of hot too. a little ball full of paint, so how bad could it hurt? Go! Oh! 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 You can do it! Oh! It's like World War III. They're running, they're sniper shooting. Oh! I get shot like three, four times in the head. You know, I get that little little shine a light, you know what I mean? That you start to black out a little bit. Go, you can do it! Just remember, keep me in one piece! Oh! Oh, 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 oh. This is a tough guy, and he's screaming like a baby right now. She splits in half. Oh, no! I see kids coming towards me. This guy is screaming on the top of his lungs. He had such anger and pain in his eyes. Those paintballs do look a little intimidating. All of a sudden, I start feeling all those paintballs hitting my back, and boy, did it hurt. Before it gets even worse, I need to get out of here. The idea is to have Daisy in one piece. And it's a cable guy, and I'm like, he's home free. So I, I get it, and I just try to take off. He bites the dust. Oh my god, man down, man down! <laughs> challenge is to protect Daisy. So uh, I'm running and I'm getting hit, I'm getting pelted, and I hand it to Cable Guy. So now I'm trying to hold this thing together and then... I topple. And Daisy breaks up into about like eight, nine pieces. We spent the better part of after the round was over trying to piece together our, our poor Daisy. <laughs> Put it back together. It was a little painful. All right, orange team. A bunch of people were telling me that paintballs hurt. On your marks? But you know what? I'm going to feel it out, and I'm going to take my time. Set, go! The paintballs hurt so bad that, you know, it just... I accidentally put the mannequin in front of me. Fox. Don't worry about protecting your mohawk. Protect Daisy. Fox. 
He went as far as to turn where she took pretty much every shot that was shot his way. Oh. Uh, he's more worried about keeping paint out of his hair than saving my life? That's bullshit! So Fox hands me off the mannequin, and it's all shot up with paintballs. But I was like, you know what? Put my middle finger in the air, put their arm in my hand, and I ran into Toolbox. Oh my god, save me! Hey, I got the dummy over the line. Maybe not in one piece, but we definitely got it in the bag. Okay, nice dramatic finish, but she's missing an arm. We got it. Looking at the other team's mannequin, I think we're still in this, because theirs is pretty destroyed. Sinister, you would look real good if when you return, her legs are attached to her torso and her arms to her shoulders. I'm kind of glad that the other guys got to go first because then I kind of saw what they did wrong. My strategy was take my time and uh, complete the mission. I'm going to win this one. On your mark! Get set! Go! the Chi Chi and I'm just getting lit up from the back. I pass her to London, she splits in half. One piece! Ah! On. I grab her and I'm like, okay, you know, I gotta keep it together now. Ah. I get a paintball right across the neck, and I mean, these things sting. I am absolutely amazed that we honestly got that doll across the finish line. I am just shocked. Oh. Oh. All right, well, I don't know which team did the best job. The black team broke me in half. The orange team, I'm like in a million pieces. And the beige team, they didn't do much better. The Sinister took more bullets than most people, I think. I like a guy who can take a bullet for yeah. me. All right, guys, I'm really proud of you to see that you would all go through a little bit of pain for my love, because let's face it, love hurts. But at the end of the day, I'm going to go with the black team. I couldn't be more thankful to have Sinister as a team leader. When he went out there and sacrificed his body, it kind of put everything in perspective. And I'm like, woo, yeah! Made me feel like a million bucks. I told her I was gonna win. So tomorrow, you guys are gonna go on a very special date, because tonight, we are all gonna go out! Yeah! Sinister, Sinister, tonight, while we're out, you and me are gonna have a little special VIP time. All right, can't wait. That's exactly where I belong, is in the VIP with my woman. I can't wait to see what's gonna happen tonight. Black team wins. I can see the disappointment in my teammates' faces. They don't look too thrilled. I'm pretty damn sure there's gonna be some people getting off in Brooklyn's ass tonight. I have a feeling there's gonna be some shit. This challenge is about protecting Daisy, and I'm gonna protect Daisy by being honest with her. I got something to say before okay. this goes on anymore. So I lose a challenge, and to make things worse, now Brooklyn says he's got something to tell Daisy. This should be interesting. First and foremost, I want to thank you yesterday for giving me a second chance. So all of a sudden, Brooklyn steps forward and has something to say. And I'm like, really? Now? What the heck is this about? I was drunk last night, but today I kind of rested and really thought some shit out, and I found the answers I was looking for. And bottom line is, you know, I'm still in love with my ex-girlfriend. Excuse me? Is this really happening? As for today, I'm throwing in the towel. Wow. Brooklyn just broke Daisy's heart in front of America and embarrassed her and hurt her real bad. Hurt me too. I'm so pissed I want to punch Brooklyn in his face. I remember you being asked exactly, do you have feelings for your girlfriend? And what you did in front of everybody and in front of Daisy was live. Right now, Ricky is 
blowing up on Brooklyn. I was fixing to blow up my fucking cell. I screwed up, you know what I mean? You straight told me that you wanted to be here. So I just let someone who might have had a chance and could have been an awesome guy go for you. So basically, everything that Brooklyn said to me at the last elimination was a big, fat lie. My heart is somewhere else, and there's just nothing I could do about it. Well, thank you for wasting my time. You know what? Ricky is right. This guy is a loose bag. Screw Brooklyn. I don't need him. All right, boys. So I guess since there's an extra seat, I'm going to join you, and we're going to party. So yeah! thanks for playing. Deuce! Hey, Brooklyn, check your mail when you get home. I'm sending you a douchebag. Here's to cheers to you, boys. Cheers. Oh, jeez. So we get home, we're getting out the limo. At this point, I feel no pain. I'm ready to go party. I'm gonna go and get ready for you guys because I have something special. I'm gonna go to the club, so get ready to go out. Let's go. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Woo, woo, woo. These guys have been fighting hard for my love, so I wanted to give a little something back. I have a very special night planned for them, and I hope they like it. We're all trying to get ready and look good and hurry up and get tightened up. It was pretty hysterical watching them trying to get ready and everything. Ow. Man in makeup is not okay. Take it easy on like all the freaking <laughs> nail polish and eyeliner. Some of those dudes put like eyelashes on. I don't know why they do that, but maybe they're mad at their dad. I don't know. Fox. Oh, yeah. Me being a good looking guy, Fox. I spend a lot of time on my hair. Fox. I tend to put on some mascara on my mustache sometimes. Fox. This is what I do that makes me feel good. like a bunch of ladies in this house. It's hilarious. <laughs> <laughs> we're going out to a club, and we're going to bang it out. And I'm going to be in the VIP with the hottest girl ever. I'm going to have her all to myself. Flex and clubbing, that goes together like peanut butter and jelly. So after a long, hard day, I decided to have some drinks with the guys, kick back, and let loose. We're gonna go in a special little VIP area. You know what, I have to use the little girls room real quick, so why don't you go over there and I will meet you over there. Well, I won the challenge as the team captain, and I'm gonna be in the VIP with Daisy, we're gonna have some drinks, we're gonna party and have a good time. All these guys are pulling me in different directions, all fighting for my attention, and I love it. I feel like a super hot sex kid. Meow. I really think that if you're doing what you're doing and you're real about it, you'll always succeed. And if you if you push yourself to the limit, it don't matter what you do in life. And that's not oh, what's sorry about that. Thanks for an asshole. I haven't seen you all night, so I just want to say hi. Aw, oh, thank you. So you missed me since the limo? I have another Kisachi. Hey everybody thinks this is a makeout session right now. I'm trying to move in. I'm trying to show everybody else what the fuck's up. These guys are obviously attracted to me and they're starting to act really crazy. But hey, it's kind of hot. What girl doesn't want guys to fight over her? trying to talk to me, get my attention, but I'm getting the feeling that Fox isn't very interested in me tonight. Every once in a time with Daisy, dude, and I'm not that type of guy. Me being a good looking guy, I lay back and let everyone, you know, get their little chance, and I guess the best man win. I'm not the type of guy that's like, Daisy, you know? So Fox thinks he can win me over with his good looks? Well, this isn't Fox of love, this is Daisy of love. So I gotta go find him and see what's up. I need to make sure that you're fucking all about me and not all about the party because I've been kind of noticing that 
You've been all about the party a little bit. Of course I've been all about the party. All of a sudden, Fox is acting a little weird. He's acting like he doesn't need a try, but guess what? You better try harder. I need to make sure that we're fucking all about the party together. Of course. Okay. But at the same time, there's 12 I don't, guys. You know what? Right? If you're really fucking about me, then it doesn't matter. It's about you and me. And exactly. Go have fun. I need to make sure. Go she have fun. Go. What? <laughs> okay. He is acting way too cocky, and I do not like cocky guys. Whatever. It's kind of boring without Daisy here. I'm ready for my date. I'm ready to hang out with my girl and have a good time. There you are. Where have you been? Wait, I don't know. What's that? Like a cherry bomb? Cable guy? I don't hate him, but the guy hasn't even tried to talk to Daisy all night. I think I'm going to kind of push him in the right direction. You want to see somebody really making that effort? That's fine. But here's the thing. They were saying, well, it's not like you're not being you, but be you times 10. Well, me being me times 10 isn't me being me. I know, but here's the deal, okay? In a perfect world when we go somewhere and there's somebody that we're really into, we've got time to pursue them. We also don't have 15 guys that are on it right away. Maybe you might be a guy that's like, you know what? I'll play it cool. That's really what you're all about. But when, but when, okay. when time is limited, she only has a limited amount of time. She's only judging on what you're... What she sees, not what she's feeling. I appreciate his advice, and I really wish I could follow it, but I'm not going to fight through the room full of guys. It's just not how I do it. I mean, like I said, bro, if you're telling me I want to make an honest to God, goodness shot at, like, making something happen, cool, but if you're asking me if I'm going to be in love with this woman after three weeks, no, not at all. It seems like Cable Guy doesn't want to leave his cable box. Not the best strategy, but whatever, I tried. Bromance! Bromance! day and night. Awesome. Tonight is a great opportunity to spend some time with Daisy. Toolbox, he's not even paying attention to Daisy at all. <laughs> he's putting on his own show. He's acting a fool. I had an awesome time. And I hope you guys did too. But right now, Getting something. All right, fuck me, I guess. I, I'm, I am getting frustrated with Daisy a little bit. I'm gonna let it slide for now, but I just wish that she would get it together and realize who's here for her. Whew, what a day. This girl is beat. Good night, good night, good night, good night, good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. Daisy said she's going to bed. You know what? Fuck that. Let's party. <laughs>
painting pictures and painting each other. Today, I'm having a super sexy body painting date, and I can't wait. This is going to be amazing. So, let's get ready. Hi. How's he going? Daisy drops that robe. And man, that is the first time I have seen her in a bikini ever. And like, mm, nice, man. All right, so I think it's time to get some painting going down. Mr. Troll Pack, it's time for you to take off your pants and your shirt and get naked. Of course I have my reservations about 12 Pack. He's been on every reality show known to man. Of course I've been known for a couple too. What is it you're looking for? I usually go for the girls that I shouldn't go for. And my last two girls cheated on me. I actually never cheated what? on a girl. I've never cheated never on a girl, cheated swear on to God. Troll Pack got hurt and got cheated on. And for one brief second, he started to let his wall down. And I saw a different side of him, and I liked it. Sometimes you have to stop, breathe, and take the moment in. And it's like you're having an amazing moment with someone. Can you remember how you're feeling at the moment? And just take it all in. We are just opening up to each other right now, and that is exactly why I am here in the first place. And it's it really is incredible. Thank you. Getting familiar for better. Last night at the club, I was pretty disappointed because I was ready to see my girl, but I'm like, you know what? No, not say anything. That's a rock star thing to do. We're all going to have fun on this date, and I'm just going to try to get my one-on-one -on -one time with her, so it's all good. Here, I'm going to paint a little, like, star on you. You need some more. You want to paint something? You can paint something on It feels kind of cool. So I feel really bad that I spaced on Sinister's VIP date last night. Oopsies. But I'm definitely going to make it up to him now. I noticed Sinister kissing Daisy and sucks for me right now. I don't want to see my best friend kissing Daisy. We kissed <laughs> and it was sexy. How are you? I am on top of the world right now. Right now I'm a little jealous of Sinister. Seemed like uh, Daisy and him were getting hot and heavy. I'm gonna beat that. I cannot wait to get in there and get dirty with her. Mm, All right, so everybody knows her ass is mine. <laughs> <laughs> mm. Okay. <laughs> so, I really like Chi Chi, but right now, I feel like he might be trying to make the other guys a little jealous, because he's coming on way too strong, and I'm not gonna lie, it's kind of creepy. It seems like Daisy's into me, and I'm glad I got to kiss her, but it just feels so good to be around Daisy and hold her. Okay, so finally, it's time for London's turn for body painting. And they're fucking sexy. And there's two things I know about London. One, I'm super crazy attracted to him. And two, he makes me really nervous. Do you think you're right for me? Yeah. How? Why? I know the first thing was when I kissed you the first time. Mm -hmm. Like, I, I felt something there. Let mm -hmm. kiss you again. Yeah. yeah. I'm definitely feeling something between me and Daisy. I don't know what that is yet. Um, she's definitely interested in getting to know me more. She's not gonna want to send me home. I'm not gonna lie, like, I wouldn't say I have all my shit together. I can't claim some of the stuff that some people have done. I made some mistakes, I think, in my life. I think we all have. Like, mistakes are okay, though, you know, because it gives you room to grow and mm -hmm. learn. London is totally real and honest. I'm here to find love, and that guy could be London. I had a really good time on the date. But before I decide who I need to send home tonight, I need to go talk to some of these guys first. What, what, what? Right oh. here. Hello, oh, doubt. Hi. What's going on with you? No, you smell one. pretty good. Thank you. I'm very discouraged at this point because um, there's guys who are definitely being more aggressive. I don't know. I mean, that's just not the way I'm, I'm used to making my mark. Right down Hold the street on. on some pillows. On some pillows? Oh, man, I don't know about a pillow. We would die. Hold on one second. 12, man, hold on one second. Daisy. I don't know, we gotta find something different, like a sled. A sled. Like it. Daisy. I just wanna ask you something. Cable Guy finally realizes that it's elimination time, so he decides to have a conversation across the room while she's like in my arm. Like, like I said, it's not like it's like an easy question, I guess. What would you say overall you're kinda looking for? Clearly something is bothering Cable Guy. Do you want some alone time right now? That'd be cool. Let's okay. do that. 
So I want to get to the bottom of it now. So tell me what's going on with you. I understand the nature of this competition. Like, okay, well, you don't have a lot of time to get to know us, so we gotta really like kind of muscle in. But right. like I said, it's it's really important for me to let you know exactly how I am. Because the way you, you're meeting me right now mm -hmm. is the way I'm gonna be. Good. You know what I mean? I hope so. Well, see, but that's the thing. It's like so for me to, you know, make these huge overtures just trying to get over the rest of the guys would be you not seeing me how I'm gonna be on a regular basis. It's totally okay if cable guy is not the aggressive type. But at the same time, hey, this is a competition. I need you to open up a little bit. Don't be afraid. Don't be scared. I'm going outside of my box for sure. Like, I have to. You know what I'm saying? Like, I'm shy, to be honest with you. I'm a shy person. I swear to God, I have anxiety. I'm shy. But you know what? That's what it's about right now, taking a chance. Men aren't famous for their intuition. You know? <laughs> that's why they say, I know. that's why you hear women's <laughs> intuition. You don't hear men's intuition. It's like, we, we need some help on that. I don't you know have I mean? good intuition, though, either, obviously. I feel better like knowing that. that Everything I had was put out there. I love your honesty. Thank you for it. I think she understands that I'm a very genuine person. Like I said, we'll see. I want to talk to Toolbox. So I haven't been on a date with Toolbox, and last night he barely talked to me. So I definitely need to go see where he's at. My goals are, some of my goals are to just, whoa. <laughs> So I tried to talk to Toolbox, but he proceeded to put his little sexy moves on me, and it just was a turnoff, and it, like, he was a robot. Get it? <laughs> it was just like little small itty bitty me and big gigantic gorilla him. <gasps> oh my god, ow. You have to be gentle, gentle, gentle. I'm a gentle flower. I want to talk to you with your little, with your little oh party. Flex is super hot, I'm not gonna lie. Hopefully, I can get to know him very well. Mm -hmm. <laughs> that was definitely good, baby. Thank you. Yeah, that was... Don't waste those on other guys. I hate them. <laughs> Fuck. If you want to kiss someone, Don't find, waste those. Me, find me. I'll be in my room. You're Holy so crap. funny. So I'm sitting outside with Daisy, and you know, things are going really smooth, and she's laughing a lot, and, I, and she's starting to get who I am, and... You know, I'm digging it. <laughs> Have we never done that before yet? Um, uh, hey, what's up, guys? So after I get done talking with Flex, Fox comes up to me and wants to talk. But I'm still a little bothered that he's kind of a little cocky. I never really got a chance to talk to you when I, I went. Know. I just wanted to say hello. I go, thank you. Um, and I didn't want to impose or interrupt with you, to be honest with you. Well, I appreciate that. Okay. And I got to get ready for an elimination. OK. So um, I will see you at elimination. OK, honey. I feel like last night at the club, I, I didn't get one at one time. I, I didn't choose to. I mean, I pretty much fucked up. I'm really worried. Um, I'm just worried. Going to elimination tonight, I don't feel so good. I didn't get one at one time. I, I didn't choose to. It just, it wasn't the right time. Timing's everything. I'm feeling good, I'm feeling confident. I, I think the dance went pretty well, so it would've went a lot better if I could've got naked, but nah. All right, guys, my job here is to always be protecting Miss Daisy. When that creep Brooklyn left, even though I'm glad he's gone, it still hurt her feelings. And like I've said a million times, I don't like seeing Daisy hurt. That being said, Daisy's got a choice on who she wants to eliminate. All right, let's get down to it. This first guy that I want to give a chain to is someone that I think I've sort of gotten to know his sense of humor. I think I'm building a little bit of a connection with him. So, Flex, would you please come forward? So I got the first chain. Would you stay in his house and be my rock star? I would love to. Awesome. I knew we had a connection outside tonight. This next person definitely is hot and I want to know more about. So, Sinister? Would you like to stay in this house and be my rock star? She gave me the second chain. It meant a lot to me, so this is awesome. Okay. This next person that I would love to give a chain to is someone that, I don't know, I just like this guy. I'm all about it, so, London. 
I'd like to say that I don't think that London's competition to me. Would you like to stay in this house and be my rock star? I would love to. Evidently, she sees something in him, but I don't see it, and I don't know why. Six gauge? 12 pack. Hey, Greg. Thank you, Daisy. You won't regret it. Cage. Chi-Chi. At this point, coming down to the third to the last, with toolbox and cable guy, I'm just scared. This next guy is obviously hot. I mean, Fox. Yes. <laughs> oh, yeah. But sometimes you're cocky, and that is not something that turns me on. I like confidence, not cockiness. I still get the feeling that Fox thinks he can just win me over with his good looks, but I need more than that, so he better step it up. Absolutely. Yeah. I will definitely switch up. Thank you. Thank you, Don. Okay. There's one pass left, and it's between me and Toolbox. You know, you try to keep the poker face on, but I was nervous. I only have one chain left. I'm sweating like Patrick Ewing in the fourth quarter, and I'm just like, I'm going home. So there's two guys left, one chain. I keep getting the last chain, and I'm sure I'm going home. You know what, I'm, I'm incredibly nervous. I, I kind of figured, though, that if I am going to stay, I'm going to be one of the last two called down. I only have one chain left. It's not for you. Cable guy. So I basically decided to let Cable Guy go because he just didn't seem like he was willing to take any risk. He's like the jazz channel and I'm the rock channel. My life is crazy. I need a guy who's gonna be able to keep up. And I think you're great. I think you're I think you're a freaking awesome dude. And so give me a hug. Alright. Okay. I'm disappointed that this didn't work. I did the best I could, and so uh, I guess it just wasn't enough. Toolbox. The fact that Toolbox was still here at this point pisses me off. So I call him out. I got something else to say. Sorry. Um, I think that some people are holding back their feelings, and like they're holding back some information that you need to know also. What? Who? How does that make you? You know, based on the time he spent with you, I you guys didn't have a connection. I was outside with him. He said I, he didn't, he felt like he just didn't have a connection with you at all. I need to know, are you gonna be here for me or do you not wanna be here for me? That's all I wanna know. I mean, it, it's up to you, baby girl. If, no, if you, you're you know feeling, what? If you're feeling you wanna give me the chain, No, that's I'm why. You. That's you why. You know what? Home, home. This is a straight answer, okay? Are you willing to fight for Daisy? I'm, I'm just not that dude, man. I, I'm, I'm a laid back guy, like I don't. Do really you know. wanna be here? Of course, of course. You know what, you know what? Let me, I wanna, I, I wanna be here, I wanna get a chance to get the, I, I don't believe you. You can leave, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm starting to feel like nobody wants to be here. I wanna be here, but it just seems like they're just all here for their own benefit and not to really fall in love with me. And that hurts a lot. I need, I need a second, okay, I'm sorry. It hurt me to see someone that I'm absolutely falling in love with to have a broken heart. <laughs> okay, guys, Daisy is not gonna come back out. She takes this stuff very personally. I do not want to see her sad again at all. Well, Daisy's taking this whole thing very heart to heart. She's being real and she's really came here for love. <sighs> Oh, this is gonna be exciting. See, now what we could do is we could leave like little doo-doo trails like this. <laughs>
like Hansel and Gretel except with shit pellets? Yeah, look at it. Like, <laughs> look, look, it looks like he's got a little bit of doo doo hanging out. The doo doo swirl. <laughs> This is gonna be the worst cake ever. It is. Is soup. No one ever pay us to make cakes, I'll tell you what. <laughs> It'll be good. Ready? Doo doo yeah. cake. Doo doo surprise coming yeah. up. 